Hello my friends, I'm so excited to see you here and today I'm gonna show you how to paint a mural wall outside on the climbing wall and the playground to be exact If you're new here, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell button to be notified every time I post a new video Last week I posted this video about how I made this fantastic, amazing DIY playground and let me tell you, my kids absolutely love it I'm gonna leave you the link below so if you didn't watch that video you should probably start there first because that explains like step by step how I built the structure so let me walk you through how to paint a mural wall outside first need an idea you know this Pinterest doll Pinterest is a very very good place to start because they have so many amazing photos that you can get inspired by so this is a great place to start so this is what happened with me I uh, was searching Pinterest and then I by accident found this photo which uh, I didn't know how much was belonged but after doing some digging I realized it belongs to Rachel Jackson which is super talented painter and uh, you can see her Instagram here if you don't know her like please go and check her out so I, I fell in love with this color blocking idea and uh, that's how that's how I knew that I want to do something like very very uh, straightforward with my climbing wall. The next inspiration photo was the Grimm's Toys pyramid. So I absolutely love Grimm's Toys. I love the colors. I love the structure, texture, everything. And you do know that feeling when you like? I absolutely must have it. I mean. Yes, that's what happened to me. I just knew that I wanted the colors to tell a beautiful story and flowing from one another and smoothly transforming the shade. Yeah, does it make sense? Well, I definitely wasn't disappointed in the end. The first thing you need to do is to sand down the structure so thoroughly that there is no splinters and the wood is so perfectly smooth. I went to Home Depot and I chose some samples that I thought were gonna look amazing together. Red top tomato, purple just a fairy tale, yellow blazing bonfire, green park picnic, pink prairie rose, blue dark cobalt blue. So the square makes 7 inches because each of these planks is 3.5 uh, inches and uh, together, since together they were making 7 inches here, I decided to do 7 inches there too and make a perfect square. You also need a paintbrush and uh, I found the best to use the angled paintbrush because it was leaving the smoothest strokes. You also need a frog tape to tape uh, the squares that you don't paint. And a mixing bowl. And for the mixing bowl I like to use empty grid containers. They work perfectly for it. I calculated each squares and drew the outline. When the rows were divided I chose the middle vertical row and two from the sides. I placed the frog tape there and uh, it was ready to be painted. I started with the lighter color and mixed them up. All the colors you see are derivative, basically derivatives of six colors and white. If the color repeats on the other side, I do it at the same time to keep the consistency of the shape. I didn't tape between the horizontal rows and just went with a brush trying to be super careful. It worked most of the time, but one of two spots were smudged. But it's all so fixable if you notice it very fast and just like wipe it off. I basically eyeballed most of the colors and it can only give you the approximate formulas. When you're done with the middle row and two others, you can take off the tape. I find it easy to do a better job if you take off the tape while, it, while, while the paint is still a little bit wet. This way it bleeds less. You need to wait for the paint to dry to start a new layer. I was a bit impatient and tried to tape it while it was still wet. It was a terrible mistake. Wait for it to dry before taping it over again, people. 
Don't be like me. Learn from my mistakes. When it dries, which should happen relatively quickly, quickly since you paint outdoors, you need to tape off remaining vertical rows. Start painting again with a lighter color, making your way, way to the dark ones. This is how we paint the mural wall outside. Thank you so much for watching and if you're new here consider subscribing and follow me on my Instagram where I post behind the stories and you've probably seen already this wall like a few weeks ago. So if you want to be the first one, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my Instagram and I'll see you next week.